Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Mansi. I'm a dermatologist based in India and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now let's talk about sunscreens according to their finish. If you are somebody like me who likes matte finish, I don't like my face looking oily. Uh, you can opt for any of these sunscreens. You can also opt for the other sunscreens that I'd mentioned for oily skin. All of these are silicone based, which means that your face wouldn't look as oily as it normally would at the end of the day. The only thing about silicone sunscreens is that you may want to double cleanse to take them off, but it's completely fine to use just your regular cleanser as well. If you are somebody who wants that dewy hydrated look, you could opt for any of these sunscreens. Both of these still settle into a matte finish in some time, but this one stays dewy and hydrated all day long. If you're somebody who feels like they need to cover up some of their blemishes or wears makeup all the time, you could opt for tinted sunscreens. This one is the Bioderma Photodome Tinted Sunscreen. This one is in the shade Light. And let me show you how it looks. So as I've already told you, Bioderma makes them a little on the liquidier side. I'm honestly in love with this. It blends really, really well. It works for my uh, skin tone. Bauderma has uh, a couple of sun uh, tinted sunscreens in a variety of uh, tints that you could check out. Uh, you also have a lot of other tinted sunscreen options as well. Requil makes one uh, which has a silicone finish, uh, which is a bit matte. You also have Photon Hydra sunscreen. Dot and Key makes one as well. Cures has just launched one, so you could check all of those out. I don't have them with me at the moment, unfortunately. But what do you do if you've bought a tinted sunscreen and it doesn't match your skin tone at all? Simple. If it's too dark, you can use a one finger of this tinted sunscreen, one finger of your regular sunscreen to get a shade match. Tinted sunscreens for me are, are the best of both worlds, especially if you are getting acne and you are having a lot of pigmentation. It really does help with, uh, with coverage. Not to the extent that makeup could, but it also helps to form a good base for your makeup. So let's talk about UV filters. If you want to choose your sunscreen based on UV filters, this is something you must know. There are two types of UV filters. You have the organic or the chemical filters and you have the physical, mineral or inorganic filters. The commonest inorganic or physical filters are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. However, if your sunscreen contains any UV filters apart from this, it's safe to assume that it falls squarely in the chemical UV filters category. But there are sunscreens that have the best of both worlds, which have chemical as well as physical filters. These are hybrid sunscreens. This is a completely organic, that is chemical sunscreen. This is a hybrid sunscreen, which means it contains physical and UV, uh, physical and chemical filters. And this is a purely physical sunscreen. Okay, so this is what your physical sunscreen So if, I hope you can appreciate how little of the sunscreen there was and how much white cast there is. Even after a lot of blending, this is what it looks like. I hope this video helps you find your best sunscreen. If you've already found your holy grail sunscreen, let me know in the comments below. If you're going to be trying any of these, let me know that as well. I'm going to be linking all the sunscreens in your in the description box and make SPF your BFF.